Hey guys, welcome back to another Joe Muller frozen food review. Homestyle meatloaf, hungry man, creamy mashed potatoes, savory brown gravy and mixed vegetables includes a chocolate brownie. Up next, stay tuned. Okay guys, so here are your cooking instructions. We have the option of a conventional oven or a microwave. And today we are definitely going to opt for the microwave. And here you see your nutritional facts, guys. Look at the list of ingredients. <laughs> oh god. Absolutely amazing, guys. All right, let's see what we got here. Here it is, guys, in all of its frozen glory. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna vent this, get it into the microwave four and a half minutes. We'll be right back to give it a shot. Okay, guys, and here it is right out of the microwave after four and a half minutes. And basically what you gotta do is Everything gets a little bit of a mixy mix here, guys. Everything's still really frozen. Boop. See, it's still frozen. And we're going to place the film. As per the instructions, we're going to give those vegetables mixy mix also. And then we got to, basically, we got to take out the biscuit and let's do that see if I can handle that all right that comes out nicely guys check it out all right so we're gonna put this back in the microwave for another couple of minutes we'll be right back Okay guys, so the brownie is done. We're gonna give it a shot, guys, right out of the microwave. Salud. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. -hmm. That is really awesome, guys. It is deep, it is rich, it is very, very chocolatey. I love the mouth mouthfeel. It's kind of spongy. It is really, really good, guys. The brownie is the definite superstar so far. Mmm. The brownie is a definite 10 plus. You throw a little ice cream on there, you're going to be in Fat City. All right, we're going to wait for the rest. Three more minutes, guys. We'll be right back. Okay guys, it's been like five minutes. It seems to have cooled off adequately. And you do get some definite nice big pieces here, guys. All right, let me try a little bit of the um, meatloaf. All right, first bite, wish me luck. What do we say? Salute. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, that's pretty freaking good. Wow, got some of the mash by itself. You know what? They're kind of soupy, but they're really good. They got really good flavor. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised with this. Wow. And I'll tell you guys, I love meatloaf. I am a meatloaf connoisseur. I like all kinds of meatloaf. Turkey, three meat blend. You got your pork, your veal, your beef. This 
is really, really, really good. All right. Mmm. Nice and beefy. It's definitely got a little bit of a chew to it, which I do like. Wow. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the very best, I'm going to give the potatoes a rock-solid 7. Good flavor. A little soupy. The meatloaf. We're going to rock out at 7.5, guys, for a frozen food dinner. This is pretty freaking fantastic. And also, this ran me $2.92 at my local Walmart market. Mmm. It's good, guys. All right. Now for the veggies. So we got... What did I say? We're going to go with an 8. No, 7.5 here. And um, let me try some of the veggies. They look very, very fresh, actually. Mm. Wow, guys. They're good. They're really good, I really have to say. They're nicely steamed. They're a little bit al dente. They're not mushy, they're not hard. This is perfect, this is perfect. Well, for frozen food that is, guys, and please don't criticize me because I say it's perfect. It is perfect for a frozen food meal. All right. Wow. All right, guys, overall, we're gonna rock this out at a 7.5. Definitely worth $2.82. It's definitely great in a pinch. Six minutes, you got a full meal. 500 calories, quite a bit. Really, really not bad. Hmm. The, the potatoes could be a little bit um, more dense. You know, they're a little bit on the soupy side. Meatloaf is good. All good, guys. No complaints here. Mmm. All right, that was my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. God bless. So long.